What's good with y'all, man? It's Crunch Time TV. And today, I got to talk to y'all about this James Harden situation. James Harden, one of the greatest NBA players of all time, one of the best basketball players of all time, has, we all know, has been traded to the Clippers, right? Um, I thought that the Lakers should have picked him up, but he's on the Clippers right now, so that's the situation. That's what it is. Um, but lately, it's been a whole bunch of uh, false narratives surrounding James Harden. A whole lot of hatred going towards James Harden's uh, name. You said Clippers winning, winning it all. They may or may not, but I will say they're going to do good this year. A lot of people saying it's going to be bad, but I had to think about it for a couple of days. They're going to be real good. Um, So it's a lot of uh, fake narratives and narratives that are not true. Uh going around right now in order to diminish what Harden has done in the NBA. They're trying to make it seem like he's a lousy team cancer. And really, uh, I'm fed up because I watched Player's Choice earlier, and shout out to the Player's Choice. It's a great show. But I had watched Player's Choice earlier, and it really had made me sick to my stomach, what I was hearing them say, especially Big Ox Bob. Uh, what people keep acting like is that, you know, the last five years, he's just been a team cancer, and he's been really bad, and they say that he's he was a no-show in the playoffs last year. They used to say that he was a playoff choker. Um, they say that he, uh, you know, has basically, like, just really just been bad on all of, you know, the recent teams he's been on. For one, let's just start recently, right? Let's just start with very recently what just now happened. Because we all know James Harden is one of the... I got him as probably a top five score, uh, scorer of all time in the NBA. Uh... That's that's he he's in the great uh category of NBA scores. But let's just talk about recently, right? Everybody keeps on saying he was a no show in the playoffs this year. He didn't do nothing this past year on Philly. Why does everybody keep saying that? I want somebody to answer that question for me right now in the comments. And then what I'm going to do is, as soon as I see the answer, I'm gonna start answering. But I'm gonna tell y'all exactly what I mean. Excuse me. As soon as I see the answer, I'm gonna start responding. But I'm gonna tell y'all exactly what he did in the playoffs this year. Is he dropped? Because remember now, right? Right? Joel Embiid was out. I'm going to say that one more time. Joel Embiid was out. And the Philadelphia 76ers were not supposed to win that game when Joel Embiid was out. And James Harden dropped 40 points and hit a game-winning shot. That's already exceeding expectations or literally at least doing his job. Because they were not supposed to win that game. The Celtics just had came from going to the NBA fucking finals. Right? So Harden won that game against the Celtics. Then when he, he, give you, he gave us another 40-point game-winning game during that same series when Embiid was even there. So he's pulling a lot of weight. Everybody said that he flamed out in game seven. But my question to y'all is this, and I need people to answer this ASAP. Why, is, why does Harden have that much responsibility on this team? I thought it was Joel Embiid's team. Because now, y'all are making this seem like y'all want him to lead most of the games. Because if he would have played good in game seven, now that's three games that y'all want him to go off and win. When it's supposed to be Harden's team, uh, excuse me, it's supposed to be Embiid's team. Joel Embiid is the MVP. Joel Embiid is getting everything that he needs because the problem was Ben Simmons wasn't scoring. Now Harden giving you multiple 40-point games and it's still not enough, even though Embiid didn't even have a good game in Game 7. If Embiid played normal in Game 7, then they probably would win the series. Right. And then you, I, like, it's more to it because it's even more reason for it to be Embiid's fault because he has never been to the Conference Finals. So at the end of the day, that's everybody saying he's played bad this year. He didn't do his job this year. He didn't show up this year. That's a fucking lie, right? All jokes to the side. That's just this year, right? And hold on. On top of that, during the season, he led the league in assists. What they trying to do is, is they trying to blackball James Harden from the NBA because he's been really uh, rebellious. He's always just been, you know, uh, you know, I don't really care type of personality. He's going to do what he wants to do. And he's, you know what I mean? He's just very outspoken. Well, actually, for the most part, he was never really that outspoken. He's just honest when he asks him certain questions. Um, so now, uh, but then you go to Brooklyn. I understand what happened in Brooklyn. I do believe he quit on Brooklyn too early. That's the worst decision I think he made over in recent history. I think he quit early in Brooklyn because he stated, because really everybody be saying Brooklyn failed and this and that. Think about it. Injuries-wise, in the playoffs at least, Harden was the first one to get injured. But this is what Big Ox Bob has said on whatchamacallit. 
Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. I'm from Baltimore, yo. This what uh, hey, yo, this what uh, this what Big Eyes Bob said on Player's Choice Show. He said Harden been playing bad in the playoffs the last five years, bro. Even on Brooklyn, he was hooping. He was, he yo, when they played in the playoffs on Brooklyn, right when everybody got hurt against Milwaukee. But the first series, the round right before that, they played against Boston. This man Harden was the best player on the team. I mean, yeah, 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 but they played Boston the first one, right? Harden was the best player on the team. What did he do wrong? Right? Even on Houston. Now, this is a whole thing about Houston. Because now I understand it, right? But this way is right. This way the stream about to get crazy, y'all. So Houston, he forced his way out of Houston, right? Everybody, oh my gosh, this stream about to listen, yo, this this shit about to get crazy. Everybody be talking about he forced his way out of Houston and they make it seem like he the worst person in the world for doing that. Right? But now when Damian Lillard do it, everybody giving him all his praise. So Damian Lillard basically did the same thing. He said, trade me. Miami. Right? Miami. Now, he didn't go to the team he wanted to go to, but everybody said, yo, Dame did everything he could. Harden did everything he could. He never had no bad series against the Warriors. He played against the Warriors hella times. Everybody give Dame them passes for losing against the Warriors. Harden kept on having to play against the Warriors, and he played better against the Warriors. And Harden got mad more accolades in Houston than Dame had in Portland. I mean, tell me who Harden had that was really averaging as much as C.J. McCollum for that whole stretch. Even even Chris Paul didn't average that much. You feel what I'm saying to you, bro? You said Dame is the worst comparison. How was it? How? how? Dame did it the same exact thing. What you want to say, KD? Like all these guys do the same thing, but when Harden did it, it was so it was such a problem. First of all, that time when he like around the time when he was leaving, he wasn't even really getting worse. Like I remember when he was um everybody said he put a fat suit on, but then he came back and played the Blazers and had like forty four or something. Like his last game in Houston against the Blazers, he had like forty four points or something like that, and he had like a game winning shot at the end. Like this man is just unguardable, bro. That's why the NBA is trying to blackball him. Um, all of these false narratives lately is just mad suspicious. Uh, and I know what they trying to do, man. Um, it is what it is, though, bro. We already know. You know, oh, they closed? Ain't no way, bro. Bro, no way. I just ordered pickup DoorDash. No, bro, come on, bro. You gotta be kidding me, bro. Did they leave the food? Oh, now they getting sued. It's a lawsuit right here. Oh, nah, man. Bro, I want to know why didn't I, why didn't I get a notification about them by the close? Nah, family. They closed at, they just closed 15 minutes ago? Yo, come on, bro. Dog. Dog. That's sad, bro. I'm ready to break in. I gotta make a sandwich, yo. Bro, I may be mad late. You said, what time is it? It's only 9 o'clock. Subway closed at 9 o'clock, bro. They scary as hell. It's not even a bad neighborhood. This nigga's trying to blackball Harden, yo. Bro, that's, I ain't gonna hold you, though. That's, that's real life sad, though. So it's like, yo, I ain't even got no lunch. What I'm supposed to do about that, that foot long, bro? They, bro, do a dash. Matter of fact, I'm not fucking money back. Do a dash. I, I done ordered a Subway sandwich. I was gonna pick it up on my way to work. And them motherfuckers closed at 9 p.m. James Harden, bro. I don't know what more they uh, want him to do. Led the league in assists this year. Average 20 points. It's crazy how Chris Paul... And I ain't trying to hit on nobody's pockets. It's crazy how Chris Paul... <clears throat> um, you know what I mean? Was able to get a max contract. I may be mad late. He was able to get a max contract. Um, 
when he was averaging, he was doing less stats than what Harden is doing right now. Harden just led the league in assists and averaged 20 goddamn points. They make it seem like, oh, he don't deserve no mass contract. What you talking about? Like, how does he not, how does he not make, how does he not deserve a max? And guess what? On the Clippers, I believe they're going to be good because you got Kawhi and PG. They're going to be playing good defense. Um, So that was a problem on Brooklyn is that they didn't have the defense, but but Harden, but Kawhi and PG, can they're going to be able to approximate the scoring that KD, that KD and Kyrie was able to give. Russ is still balling out right now, still playing well. Lakers looking crazy. And guess what? The Lakers play tonight. You already know I got money on the Clippers. I got big money on on the Clippers. <laughs> really betting that money on tonight. Smoking big Lakers pack. I ain't gonna hold you. I'm not ready to stop nowhere else. I'm about to just eat some. I'm about to just eat some food at at, at work that they got in a little joint in a little uh in the, in, in the freezer. Jump just eat that call it a night, man. And then when I get and then when I get off in the morning, I'm going to that subway and I'm I'm marching to the counter. I'm marching right to the counter. I'm gonna be irate. But the moon look tough tonight. I'm gonna be irate. You said what false narratives, bro? They're trying to blackball Harden. They said Harden is a playoff choker for the last five years. They said Harden did do nothing on Philly. I'm getting tired of them lies. All, everybody, I'm calling everybody out. I'm calling out everybody. Ticket TV, uh, motherfucking Big Ox Bob, Chill Town, all of them, bro, can get this work. Because at the end of the day, all of them have lied, bro, through their teeth. Lying to y'all. I will cook whoever on this topic. I got all the facts. You feel what I'm saying to you, bro? All of them. All of the facts. And, and this man, Hart. Harden played better against the Warriors than LeBron played. You feel what I'm saying to you, bro? Shit's sick, bro. You said he hasn't lifted the team he's been on, though. What? Bro, they trying to get rid of this man. They trying to... Harden... Are you kidding me? Man, this is sickening, bro. And matter of fact, KD... Needed James Harden everywhere he done went because you talking about he ain't lifted a team that he's been on. OKC couldn't get back to the NBA Finals without James Harden. Am I right or am I wrong? Am I right or am I wrong? Am I lying or am I flying? See what I'm saying to you, bro? I don't want no McDonald's. That's not matter of fact. I don't know. I need to see what else is on this block. I just might go to Qdoba get a burrito. And you know, I'm in that water and finding Nemo. Uh, got ball here like chemo. Yeah. You already know. Turn it, turn it, Congrats, Crunch, on making more excuses for Harden. This is not no excuses. James Harden, I'm going to repeat after me, right? I'm going to repeat it again. James Harden aver- James Harden led the league in assists this season. Averaged 20-plus points this season, right? John, St- that's, that's better than John Stockton numbers. So everybody that's our praise. I mean, that's better than Chris Paul numbers. What more do you want from Like, that's the question that I want to ask y'all. What more do you want from him? What more you want from him? How do you ruin the legacy of the biggest choke choker in the modern day NBA with Maxwell? If he's the biggest choker in modern day NBA, then how did he take the Warriors to seven games if that's the most unbeatable team? That's the most unbeatable team in history, and Harden took in seven games, right? How how is that? You said the bus got blown out. Who they played? Should have been against him. We want Dame, bro. Dame, Dame, Dame is done. See, they'll, they'll, they'll praise Dame, but then slander James Harden. And Harden about to ball out too. I'm man, I'm cooking everybody, man. I'm pulling out the ticket stream, and I'm finna cook ticket on that shit, man. That lying ass shit, man. All right, ticket is done. 
know what I mean? Where am I going? Do I really want to get this McDonald's? This is sad, bro. But like, why would Subway do that, bro? Matter of fact, I'm going to Kadoba. I be mad late for work. When I get to work, it's only going to be an hour until the first break. So when I get to work, I think the game, the game come on at 10.30. I'm gonna get the word clock in, go to the bathroom, hit the pin, come back at 10.30, the game gonna be on, watch the game for 30 minutes, go to the break. You feel me? Oh yeah, I'm gonna turn right here. Got the whole plan. That shit crazy what they doing to James Harden. And you wanna know what's crazy, bro? They did the same thing to Melo. Same thing to Allen Iverson. But it's going to be harder for them to do it to Harden, though. It's hard for them to get Harden and Kyrie out of the league because they so skilled. They just so skilled, so that's so their game, so they're going to have longevity. So their skills are going to continue to keep translating. So it's going to be hard to get them out of the league so easily because they can fit on multiple teams. And then by Harden leading the league in assists, I mean, that's a good reason why the Clippers will even want to pick them up. So, you know, Philly Philly got fleeced. Uh, Philly is doing nothing in the near future. Uh, Philly is done, man. Unless they get in, I mean, somebody go with and beat. Philly is over with. Ether, you know what I mean. Philly got fleeced. All right. Only, th only thing Philly got now is Gilly and Wallow. That's a that's the hottest thing in Philly right now. I mean, I ain't gonna lie, I'm still, I'm still finna, hold on, yo, I'm gonna order something up.